greens, purples, very, very nice. Just wanna, just wanna, ah. Okay, for some reason, Uhuhu, I cannot say the name, is it Uhuhu, Uhuhu, have sent me 300, 320 markers, and I'm gonna review them because I love alcohol markers. They're kind of my jam. So, we're gonna see. Whew. <laughs> That's a bit crazy. Oh my gosh, shut that away, take it off. What on earth? You guys, this is why I do YouTube. I'm in it for the loot, to be real. Look at this, all for me. What the heck? Okay, so, ooh, <laughs> I can't say the name and they've sent me 320. Oh, hoo hoo. <clears throat> I've sent me 320 markers, as you can see. It's a little bit OTT. But very much appreciated. Um, markers are kind of my thing. I don't know what, what's this. If you put cut, what? If you are coloring on thin paper, please put this between the. Ooh, I, that's very, very good for me. Swatches, I don't swatch, so. Um, and and many many things. Anyway, I digress. The point was that alcohol markers are kind of my jam. I made all my comics with them. These bad boys. So. Yeah, I love um, Windsor and Newton at the moment. I'm kind of into, uh, I like the brush markers. And I believe that these are brush markers. It's lovely, lovely jubbly. But these are kind of like the more reasonably cheaper version of Windsor and Newton. And probably if you're on the uh, YouTube sphere, art sphere, you already know that. But just in case you don't, these are, there's the train. These are the cheaper side of alcohol markers and we gotta go away train pens and I don't even know where to begin because there's so many but yeah let's go let's go let's go oh my this is fun I like doing this so at the beginning of this sketchbook I was into drawing some princesses uh, there's a doodle of myself on a train I thought I could do doodles of myself on transport i don't know why i thought that was like gonna be a cool idea <laughs> me traveling to different places i was like how interesting is that though you know like as a consumer of art stuff how interesting is that um and and for this thing which is like put this in between the pages it's too small but i'll give it a go i have this paper so either way okay i'm very excited as you can tell because this is just yeah so at the moment, I am a little bit obsessed with like period, not periods, <laughs> period pieces. So um, I, I'm wondering if I want to do like another comic in a style of like Victorian era or maybe even earlier. Um, I obviously did a short comic, well not obviously because you may not know, but I did a comic um, in the Edwardian era, a short comic, and I really enjoyed that because it just, I feel like it adds a lot of like variety to the story and also it's interesting, something I'm interested in, I'm interested, I like, I really like um, historical fiction and I think this would be fun, but I don't know. Also, these pens are really nice um, so far. That's too bright for my hair, my hair, for her hair. Sorry about the train, these videos are getting more and more casual, aren't they? Can't help it, live night by train. That's very dark. The thing is, it does look a little bit darker than the pen lids, but whatever, it's fine. I can, you can work with that, you can figure that out, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I'm interested in doing another comic of like a period drama or something. Not horror, necessarily, just something different maybe magical fantasy historicalness because yeah i think that's something would be fun to do uh loving these pens feeling very nice they're blending really well um definitely see why the internet kind of goes mad for them especially considering their price point i'm just going to check the price because okay so for for instance, for 48 of them, they're 20 pounds. And for 48 of the brush markers, they are usually 90 pounds. <laughs> so a slight difference in price point there. Um, so these, for instance, are 
triple the price than these ones, which is a bit crazy. I wonder if you get like more ink in them. I don't know if there is a way to like tell that. I don't think there is, but um, yeah, so these are the ones I usually enjoy more. And I don't know if it's the paper, but these seem to be blending into each other a little bit more than uh, brush markers would. But I mean, you know, like triple the price. So <laughs> it's some things you can work around a little bit, I think. So for instance, you can see here that this is blending into each other slightly, but it's, I'm not hating it, you know, it kind of works. It kind of looks fine. Um, you probably just have to bear that in mind. You get used to the, you get used to it as you use them, I guess, because you're just doing a lovely poofy dress, which I don't actually know the era of. Um, it doesn't look, I typed in Victorian garb, but this looks a little bit more earlier than that. So I'm not sure if that's the case, but whatever. Well, no, it definitely is the case uh, that it's not Victorian, but, Hey ho, I'm gonna do the hand. The thing is, um, for me, I don't necessarily need it to be like pristine, not not blending, because I I like to go in with um, colored pencils afterwards anyway to do outlines and stuff. Like that's kind of my thing. So it doesn't really matter to me. So I I, I enjoy it. I, and also like probably after it dries, you can go in. I think I was too quick to like bring those colours together. So that's something I'm going to keep in mind to try and uh, wait for it to dry a little bit before going in. Okay, this thing is just not working for me. Kind of made her neck a little bit too short, but you live, you learn. This is when it kind of all comes together. When I first start doing like layering down colours on paper, <laughs> Uh, and film it, people are usually like, where is this going? Like, what is she doing? But as I add the line work in, it kind of makes sense, right? Um, and it is something that I really enjoy doing. I don't know why, it's just this type of style. It just hits me, guys. Just like it. Um, I like also leaving some, maybe, not doing line art everywhere, but just hinting. So that kind of works. I like doing shadow in a kind of violet color with these pens so i'm wondering if that would work um there's obviously i could use a lavender blue which is like a cooler a cool shadow or um a more pinky violet i guess this is mauve um color for like a warmer shadow and i always like using warmer shadows i'm not sure why um just think it makes it more cute <laughs> yeah um, so that's my top tip use colors shall I zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see a little bit better that could probably work a little bit better couldn't it so this is just a chatty video and I was wondering if you guys kind of like these videos uh, video style um, I know that it's a lot easier to edit for sure is this the yeah this is the shadow i have be using and it's kind of more chill so i don't know if you guys just grab whatever you're working on at the same time it works out quite nice i know i enjoy like watching videos like this so yeah what i'm thinking of um this character i'm just looking up like pinterest stuff and copying it basically for ideas and then maybe i'll go away and like draw my own thing and we'll move her about and do a scene or something but this is purely just like inspiration uh beginnings of something i would do so if i was gonna make a comic i would be just drawing loads of stuff of this time or whatever interests me so what interests me about doing a comic like this is definitely the outfits and the characters maybe less so the the scenery but the scenery is definitely something to consider as well because it's a totally different timeline to this timeline that we're in right now do i mean timeline or time <laughs> it's not necessarily a different timeline and um, she has like a pink a white dress on but i'm making it pink 
and I'm not sure if oh I went for that and that is not the best color not sure if it will work but let's try that is really bright well I've, I've already like messed it up there with that color so might as well go for it but yeah I love brush markers um it's just so nice just layer them down like that it's very fun oh, I love these fluorescent colors they're so crazy they have no place in a period drama but let's go for it because I already messed up that area <laughs> so might as well try it am I right guys um yeah I do love how like alcohol markers just layer and don't leave marks that is I remember finding alcohol markers for the first time in uni and just being like this is crazy how they just they're not like felt tips where they just don't blend and they leave like um really weird marks but hey this dress is going to be disgusting in color but whatever we're just testing out markers so i'm kind of already attracted to these like luminous colors which are just in incredible to me so I was obviously going to test those out <laughs> she could just be a very rich princess I guess who just you know gets all this like crazy silk colour dye that doesn't exist for anyone else so let's just go with that yeah so like I said I like using um, uh, colour pencils but I really like the polychromos ones let me know if you guys have any like suggestions for soft colour pencils that are similar because I feel like these polychromos are quite expensive but I do really love them. I definitely am obsessed with doing line work with the Faber-Castell polychromos black pencil like that's that's what I use. Um, I bought many 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 of them and they are if you come to my office they're just lying about the place. <laughs> Um, I don't know why, I just really enjoy them as like line work. I think I discovered that when I first did Emily is Burning. I was like, oh I want to do a line work in a black pencil and I think at the time I just used any old black pencil, like a soft thick black pencil. And then I realised that I love it, I love that line quality, I love the like the texture of it, I think yeah i don't know i don't know about you guys maybe you hate it but for me it's just just i enjoy it more than like inking because i used to ink i used to use like a, a nib and ink and then i used brush pens which were very hard to use because they kind of you know unless you're an absolute master at them they're quite hard to use but they give you a great like thick and thin line but i feel like there's something really expressive about using this pen saw <laughs> as a as a liner so i don't know what do you guys think i mean somebody must like it to be fair because people do buy the comics so you someone out there must like <laughs> me using this as a oh god my light just flickered as a liner i need to sharpen it though for some reason my sharpener is in the bathroom don't ask you ever get that thing where you're like, oh, I need a sharpener for my eyeliner and you just go and use the sharpener that is not meant for that. No? Okay, just me. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I like her face, but whatever. Sorry, face. <laughs> but totally liking these pens, um, considering their price point, pretty good pretty nice you know uh i can yeah like i said i can see why people kind of rave about them or younger people use them as well that n don't necessarily have the money to kind of spend on loads of expensive pens not that i do either but i just like using them But yeah, let's see. I like this colour. This is a light lavender. This kind of reminds me of a darker pen that I'm obsessed with. Um, this one, which is... What the flip is it? Orchid. I feel like that's the wrong one. But one of these colours that I use for shadows all the time and basically always run out of. It's a very similar colour to that. So quite a good dupe 
for me. <laughs> yeah, I definitely am enjoying these pens. Um, they just sent these to me, by the way, and it's not sponsored or anything, so... Totally what I believe in my honest opinion. I don't know why people say that, because it's like, well, I would give my honest opinion anyway, but I guess you can't say anything too negative if you're being paid. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think we need more colour on the bottom of her dress. Greyish cherry. Ooh, it's very nice. That's probably the colour I wanted that bit to be, but it didn't work out. Um, it's kind of like a non-colour because it's just kind of slightly cream. But that's kind of what I was going for. So I've been super busy with work um, recently and I think that's kind of eaten into me making videos and stuff a little bit. You may have noticed, you may have not. You may not care at all at what I say. But yeah, it's, uh, it's going so these colours are so bright um, so if you see me not posting as often that's kind of why but I still want to post it's not like I mean I don't really you know get much from posting if that makes sense like monetary wise but I really still I love making videos and I've always made videos just for fun so makes sense that I continue it's just that it's like exhausting on the weekend you know when you oh my god what first world problems right but still <laughs> just explaining why maybe I'm not posting as often but here we go I'm probably just running a bit as well I feel like where's that color I liked it wasn't mauve it was the light lavender right the one I liked for the colors I'm gonna make a note of that because I'm gonna forget um, which one I like for the shadows. I believe there is a lavender one that I use for shadows as well on this one, but hey. So there's like her feet coming out the bottom, which makes sense because otherwise it looks a little bit too, like her legs are really short. I remember when I was a kid looking at um, the box art for, um, Aladdin and I think it was Aladdin 2 where Jasmine's like in this uh, wedding garb basically and I was like oh my god I am in love with that image and I was trying to draw it and like copy it and I just couldn't and I think I got frustrated and I was like I can never draw even though I was probably about nine or whatever <laughs> I was like I'm not amazing at this I hate it so funny still have that feeling I guess. I guess a lot of us do. It's kind of standard, right? I'm not instantly good at something. It annoys me. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> okay, so she's like scrunching her dress, but I'm not sure I've conveyed that very well. But hey ho. Anybody else do that? Like copy um, videotape art? I'm showing my age here, but whatever guys, um, old, uh, videotape art when they were a kid. It was always fun, slash, I was like, why can't I be better at this? I think as well, like, that feeling of, like, not being suddenly good at something was something that I definitely had to get over as a kid, because and realize that you have to work for things if you want to get better and stuff because <laughs> I was just like why am I just good at this and I felt I feel like that's the case with a lot of stuff that I did I was probably just like why aren't I amazing and then steadily learned that I probably had to put in the time to get better at stuff um, so yeah a lesson learned though I hope <laughs> now I'm like why aren't I good <laughs> give up YouTube <laughs> but yeah so I like her I like these pens uh, I think we'll do another person um, I'm not sure if she's finished on oh, her hand just a blob here so she's got like a weird thumb not a weird thumb but a, a hard position to draw <laughs> she's got a weird thumb this model no that's harsh uh, yeah Hard position to draw. 
so it kind of went out of the lines a little bit there the color but because of how i did it but i still kind of like that it, it, it kind of adds a texture and visual interest to it and that's my reasoning and i'm sticking to it i don't care what anyone else says she has a necklace on but i feel like i've made her like this decolletage area way too small uh yeah so there we go that's princess number one princess i mean she could be not a princess but you know <sighs> this next one i think i'm just going to use the colors as they are i'm not going to test them i kind of did that here but i'm going to try it again here um because i think it just makes for an interesting piece because I, I kind of find that interesting that color scheme even though i wouldn't have picked it out necessarily so right now i'm going to draw um l fanning i think her name is from the great if you guys haven't watched that show and you like period dramas it's kind of so funny it's um one of those ones where they kind of use like modern language sometimes and it's just very silly and i really like it yeah so what i do is i just kind of like outline the shapes i put her arms there i should put the arms in first because i'm gonna draw over them she's very pale in this show so let's go with mellow peach it was very yellow but oh well. um yeah so i just block in the shapes that i see and i find this handy as well because i feel like if you look at the negative space whilst you do this it kind of helps a lot and you can if you're just blocking out a shape it, i think it helps with the accuracy of the drawing and even if it's not like super accurate accurate ac why can't i say that word even if it's not super accurate accurate why can't i say that uh, if, if it doesn't look the same it's fine because it's your own flair <laughs> i can't speak hmm. good good to know Um, yeah, so I kind of like this messy way of designing, making, um, I don't know if you guys know that, if you're new here, I want to try this for less, for a fluorescent, what the hell, fluorescent yellow, ooh, got a bit scared there, I was like, why well, can't I speak, <laughs> just for the highlights, because she has a very shiny, like, silk, but kind of more of an olive coloured dress on, so this is definitely not the colour scheme, but I like it. So we're gonna go a bit crazy. We're going crazy, guys, today. Um, she's sat on a bed, so her dress is kind of like underneath her poofing a little bit here. Uh, where's that colour? Is this the colour? See, this this green, glass green, does not really look the same as that, does it? So, I don't know. Maybe they could work on the lid colour. I know that's probably like very hard to do and here's where them kind of blending into each other quite well comes in handy because that's kind of what I wanted to do so like I said before the Winds and Newtons don't blend that that much as in into each other so this is kind of nice um, but you can use it purposefully as well as accidentally so I don't know if that made any sense but I hope it did <laughs> I want yellow hair for her so there's a lemon yellow or there's a melon yellow which one will work I think I'm gonna go with melon yellow to play it safe like for a darker and then you can always add yellow pencil on top hopefully she's got like curly locks her hair done up in curls here understand but it kind of curls away 
this is a very definitely a very like fluorescent -y, um colored drawing but hey oh Also, like very plain dress it's just that it's quite beautiful because it's silk and it's very like well tailored so it just it is stunning but I'm not sure I've done it justice with this color scheme let's try this light green just to finish off the areas I wonder if I add in the fluorescent colour now, it's gonna like still be as bright, but I don't think so. I want a really light pink, so let's go for this. Uh, what does that say? Chocolate pink. That looks like it's hardly any colour, which is good because she hardly has colour on her face. Use this as a shadow actually because she's so light in this image. So, using this as like a shadow kind of indicates where I should do my line art as well, it's kind of helpful. Um, Usually you have to do the liner after all the pen, uh, um, if you're using a coloured pencil, after all the lines that you've done with the alcohol markers because otherwise it bleeds and it doesn't look very nice. Um, so just bear that in mind if you try to do this style or this way of, the way that I do it. Thing with this silk dress is that it does have a lot of like um, fabric folds and stuff like that which can be quite difficult to do needs more like shadow on the dress to indicate the folds. I think that one's too light. Where's the one I like? Light lavender. I don't know if this is probably not dark enough. Oh no it is. Probably should have done this before I did the line art but it's okay because sometimes you can smudge it to make it look not too bad. So this is probably like quite an unconventional, I don't know if it is, an unconventional way of using these pens um, compared to say other art YouTubers who probably use it in a more clean way <laughs> than me, um, I'm quite messy but I guess it gives you like a idea if you're a messy artist as well of how these pens could be used, um, not sure if that makes sense but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, so 
let me know i think this is like really fun i want to do her lips she has a very smug face being uh catherine the great here <clears throat> Or captured her likeness, but that wasn't really my intention either. Just wanted to draw someone in a nice, pretty dress. Probably aged her about a hundred years, but it's fine. I want to do a blue behind her. Ooh, I like this blue, that's nice. Sometimes it's nice to just like indicate a background if you just do a quick sketch because it just lets the object or the person sit in a reality. So even if you're not even doing like a proper background, it's nice to like hint. I think that's probably why you see sometimes when people do character designs, they just do like a block of colour sometimes around them. I think it just helps to sit them in a place. Yeah, but this blue is very nice. I'm liking a lot of these colours, they are very bright, um, very nice colours to use. I also like to use a white, I don't know where it's gone, I haven't drew, drawn in a while now. Because I've been so busy, but um, not necessarily this one, I like the jelly ones, but I don't know where it's gone. But I'll use this one for now. Just add some sparkles, I love some sparkles. some highlights this is i've ruined this pen um this acrylic edding pen <laughs> with by using it with pink so it's kind of stuck but oh well can clean it in a bit but yeah this is kind of like it's quite fun Pens, love them, completely enjoyed using them. I hope you guys liked watching me just doodle because I'm probably going to do more uh, videos like this um, in the future. But yeah, thank you so much to Ohuhu, Ohuhu, <laughs> Ohuhu for sending me these amazing pens, so many, and I'm really excited to just keep going, keep drawing. But right now I'm gonna edit this video and put it up, and I hope you guys like this relaxed kind of style. So let me know if you did, and uh, yeah, see you around. Thanks very much for watching, and bye.